this room was actually quite good but now finally it's almost done no more updates for this room according to the developers and this is what we have installed right now i just want to let you know about this last update the new things and uh, one of the best things about this custom room which is the custom room i'm using right now i'll tell about this later on in this video so stay tuned it's based on android 12.1 by the way if you're able to see all these animations and etc it's based on android 12.1 so nothing to worry about it much we have extra tiles options available for you the latest android version is here that this is the default icon pack which i'm using right now i haven't customized any other icon pack yet but yes you have these options available for you it has all the pixel features available it includes a pixel launcher by default available for you but pixel launcher what you get pre-installed is not the official one it's actually the modded one we have the double tap to sleep option available which will work with the accessibility settings and you also have some developer options available for you which if you want to use you can so there's something really good here and maybe also some other custom themed icons also should have been included which means if you want to use any custom themed icons you can and if i move on to the settings app those settings ui most of the users should definitely get to know that which is this custom i'm talking about if you didn't got it make sure to watch this i'll tell you later on in this video if i talk about some things which you have uh, which you have in the realms of customizations or changes or new features which you have in this one if I move on to the main menu or maybe um, app drawer, we have the wallpapers app available called Arcanery. So yes, we have the project Arcana, the name, the base custom room, which I'm using right now, which is uh, which is having the last update right now while making this video. No more updates for this room, according to the developers. If I move on to the things which I liked about this one, if I move on to the battery usage, you have the option to customize the battery usage for past 24 hours or last full charge, which is something good. You have the option available and you don't need to restart the settings app to take effect. So that's also one of the positive things about this one, including that if I move on to the security section, face lock, fingerprint lock, app lock, all these things are already included. So this is also one of the plus points about this one, which I liked a lot. If you want to use face lock and fingerprint lock both, you can use very easily, including the app lock, which is also included and not included in the default launcher. If I move on to the gestures option, quick tap option is also there, which I sometimes use. Maybe I sometimes use partially and sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. But yes, it's also there and system navigation also has same kind of things available for you. For example, some navigation bar related options for you double tap option is also included and other options are just kind of same this was about the major or main things and if i come to the, the customization section where you have a grimoire which means the customization section device theming includes the custom on it theming which means if you want to use the custom theming except the wallpaper based you can it's just working perfectly fine if i if i'm not wrong it's working good you also have the settings layout option which was also included in Cherish OS actually and if I'm not wrong it was included there and it's also included in this one where you can customize the settings layout if you want to it's just up to you if I move on to this option and I check out and customize other things we have the fonts customizations icon pack signal icons and a lot more things fonts also includes only basic one but quite useful and most of the fonts are kind of usable and most of the users use these fonts like harmony os not i use these options wallpaper zooming option is also available which will only work on vanilla bills and it's not working in mine case because i'm using the google apps version extras it also includes the unlimited google photo storage which is absolutely fine unlock higher fps in games quite useful and unlock higher quality streams too so basically all the useful features are already present and also includes the gaming space and yes if you're a gamer you need these things that's also included one of the best things about this one is this and this is what i'm using right now in this one if i move on to the status bar customizations battery clock network traffic and a lot more things are already included we have some status bar customizations where you can customize the status bar icons too where you can enable the color icons, some logo related things and some Volti and Wo Wi-Fi icons are also there which because I don't have SIM card so it's not showing on the status bar. We also have some system system related configurations where you can disable the IME button space if you want to which means the space below keyboard. Swipe to screenshot as expectedly it's already included. 
these were things which you have and now let me show you that which is the customer i'm talking about if you still didn't got it because it was quite easy if i move on to the about phone section this is what we have project arcana and this is actually looking quite good the default ui or about phone ui is also changed the version i'm using here is galif fnl or this is what i'm talking about sour candy 12l and yes 12l which means based on android 12.l and yes based on 12.1 and this is what we have right now installed on mutual device available for many other devices too official websites and official devices links already available in the description this was all thanks for watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe the channel don't forget to like and share this goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through